Hi guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I do have a new background. Um, I thought I would switch it up a little bit, you know, make it a little Christmassy. I tried with what I have right now. I don't know if this is going to be like the definite setup just because I'm not really feeling it right now. So I do really like how like the Ikea drawers are back there and then there's a desk for me to like set things on. So if you're liking the new background, give this video a like right now. So anyways... Let's jump right in. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. It looks like this. It has like new packaging, I believe. I feel like it used to be just like a plain clear bottle, but now like there's this black design on it and I think it's so cute. So I did order this off of Sephora. Let me check how much it was because I don't quite remember, honestly. But this is the 3.4 ounce bottle and it retails for $27 on Sephora. So pretty much what this mask is supposed to do, it's supposed to help with the dullness and textured skin. So if you have those two things, it's supposed to help with those. It's also supposed to help with like clearing out your pores and minimizing them a little bit. And then it also says it helps with oiliness. So if you have oily skin, hopefully this will try and control that a little bit so I'm excited to try this out it is formulated without paraben sulfates and all that bad stuff they do have quite a bit of sizes online um, they have like this four set of 0.34 ounces so like one use only probably which that would be a really good gift idea right now or like a tester if you want to try it out that's only ten dollars and then they do have smaller um, bottles. They have one that's 1.7 ounces and that's only $17. So I mean you don't have to go out and buy the biggest bottle if you don't really know about it yet. You want to test it out first. So definitely check those out if you are interested in this. So I'm going to stop talking about it and let's just get into this because I'm excited. Okay so obviously for a mask you want to wet your face in with warm water and really open up those pores. So I just have a warm washcloth right here. I'm gonna wet my face, open up those pores. So it is a very dark color, obviously like it's a charcoal mask, so this is like the color of charcoal. And then the smell, it's like really fruity in a way, it's like citrusy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying this. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. You can definitely just like apply this on your nose or just like in your T-zone, if that's the only areas that you have problems with, but I got problems all over my face, girl, so that's why I'm going to use it, and I feel like this will definitely put it to test. I forgot to mention that I do have a few um, pimples showing up right now, like there's one right there, a few over in this area. I forgot to tell you guys that, but we're going to test it out to see if like it dries them out or if it helps immediately. It's not stinging or anything, it's just like a cooling sensation a little bit right now. Just because I feel like the bottle is a little cold because it just was sitting outside, like I just got this package. But it's not like stinging, nothing like that, it just feels like I'm applying a mask, like a regular mask onto my skin. Alright, so I just finished applying the mask. It definitely has like a cooling sensation to it, but it's nothing extreme. I feel like anyone could possibly use this mask just because it's not too intense. But on the back, it also says that you should only use this once a week or as often as needed. So I'm probably just going to do maybe once to twice a week. Depends on how bad my skin gets. But lately, it's been improving a little bit since I've been going to the gym. So it doesn't say like a certain amount of time to keep it on, but... I feel like it's gonna dry down so I'm just gonna wait let it dry down really work its magic and then I'll be back to take it off and then let you guys know my final thoughts so stay tuned Okay, so my face is so stiff right now. As you can see, it is cracking. So it does dry down really, really stiff and really hard. But I feel like it definitely did a lot just because it's... I've never had a mask feel this stiff, like, to the point that I can't even, like, move my mouth. Like... <laughs> that was so satisfying. But wow. 
Look at how just like tight it is. You can just tell. So it pretty much has been probably about five to seven minutes. So not long. So we're going to take this puppy off and see if it did anything. Usually I don't take a washcloth and take off masks like this. Usually I just go in the bathroom and use the, like, the sink water and splash it on me. But for the sake of this video, we'll just do this. Gross. That's why I don't do that, because I feel like that just looks nasty. So anyways, so feeling my skin right now is a little wet just from the towel, but feeling it, I haven't put any moisturizer on nothing, but I am going to obviously, because that's what you gotta do to have good skin. So right now my skin feels so smooth and just really like baby skin like, you know what I mean? Um, my pores, let me pull this mirror closer. My pores are still there, obviously. I don't think it's going to eliminate them completely, but they do look a little smaller, honestly. Like, I was having a really bad pore day, so they do look pretty nice. My chin, it didn't completely get rid of, like, all my acne that's starting to pop up, but I did have, like, a really big one right here that popped up this morning and I feel like it definitely looks a lot smaller it shrank a little bit it's like more flush with my skin so it's not gonna pop out as much when I put makeup over it but my skin is a little bit red just because that's what happens when I put anything on my face let's be honest because it's a little sensitive I feel really refreshed really just nice and clean honestly my skin just feels really silky smooth and just really clean so I definitely give this mask an A plus just from this first impression right here. I feel like it's totally worth the $27. I know there's masks out there that are like $69, aka the, um, what is that called? What is that brand called? What is that brand called? Oh my goodness. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like $69 for like a little tube. Oh my goodness, what is that brand called? I can't remember, but... Like, Tatcha has a bunch of masks and stuff, and it's just so expensive. So I wanted to try out one that wasn't really going to break your bank account if you wanted to try it out. So I definitely give this two thumbs up. I really like it, and I am looking forward to trying it out more. I just love the way it makes my skin look right now and feel. I just feel so clean. I haven't felt this clean in a while. <laughs> I definitely recommend this to you guys. I wouldn't recommend anything that I truly didn't like. But I will definitely keep you posted on my Snapchat. If you don't follow my Snapchat, I will link it down below if you want to. That's where like I kind of keep you guys updated with products that I've been reviewing or what I've been loving or just my day-to-day -day life. You know, if you want to see my pup, head on over there. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely did. I'm loving this mask and everyone loves new skincare. Give this video a like if this helped you out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Channel. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join the S squad and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.